Uh, it's Monday morning and uh, we're just starting hoeing in the wheat again. A bit of a frost last night and a bit of dew about, which means we can't get going until that's really been burnt off. Otherwise it sticks to the wheels on the hoe. Uh, the dirt sticks to the wheels on the hoe. Um, I've been having a, a slight problem with the RTK uh, this year. Um, it seems to be uh, fine. It matches up with these tram lines. Um, on a level flat field, but I've noticed that on a side hill uh, it doesn't seem to match up and uh, I was uh, assuming that it was a problem with the RTK but um, I think uh, it's more of a problem with the, the fact that um, the RTK system is attached to the tractor and not to our drill, our um, sewing equipment. And uh, I think what's happening on a side hill is that the, um, the drill is uh, drifting to one side and so um, making the tram line slightly away from the mark that the uh, RTK system think, thinks that it is. Um, and I just wonder if anybody else out there sort of has the same problem and, and what you do to try and address it because um, it doesn't matter if you're hoeing or you're going with a sprayer next, um, you want to be right down the centre of these tram lines. Um, so I'd be really grateful if anyone um, could come up with um, some kind of solution to this. Um, but anyway, it's still getting it's still getting quite hard. Um, the hoe is still, I would say, doing a, a good job. Um, uh, in this field, there's one or two volunteer beans, uh, but there's also some charlock as well. And it's pulling um, the charlock out that is obviously in the rows, um, sorry, in, in, in between the rows, but not um, in the rows. So um, the only way that we're going to address that is by later um, coming in with our weed surfer and chopping the tops off the uh, Charlotte, which actually um, we really bought it to do sort of wild oats, but actually it's been a fantastic machine for for doing um, Charlock as well. Um, so we've had good results with that. Um, the Charlock has um, survived the winter reasonably well uh, because even though we did have a very cold period of a few days when it went down to mi about minus 15, um, the Charlock still seems to have survived that. So we have got some bad Charlock in places. Uh, but hopefully, as I say, the weed surfers will uh, get that sorted out uh, just before, just as, as the, uh, the flag leaf sort of comes out on the weed.